This set of twins came into the world together and left it together through an unexpected brutal crime. Some Kielisiwe and Natalia Zhou were born on the 24th of August 1983 at Madlilenyon in Dabazinduna in Matebleland North Province. However, 41 years later, a dark cloud engulfed the Zhou family as they found themselves mourning their precious twins who had just been brutally gunned down in a horrific marital dispute. Some Kielisiwe Zhou was married to Justin Mashaba and they had three children together. They had been having their fair share of marital problems, and no matter how hard they tried to fix their marriage, they could not seem to get along. Because of the persistent conflict, she confided in her family about his abusive nature, and they called for a meeting. He apparently agreed to the meeting without any resistance, and she was happy with his interest. The day of the meeting was the 3rd of April this year in Beria, Johannesburg and six people attended. It was Justin, his wife Samkelisiwe, her brother Tulani and his wife, her twin sister and another younger brother named Freddy. As they convened, they even started with a prayer and everyone was in good spirits. Everyone gave their opinion and narrated their views on how the matter should be resolved. Samkelisiwe then told them that she was done with her husband and she wanted to separate. She said that she was tired of being abused and claimed that she no longer wanted to remain married to him no matter the circumstance. This is when all hell broke loose and Justin could not accept that his wife of many years wanted to leave him. He got angry, pulled out a gun, shot his wife, she fell to the ground and he aimed the gun at her youngest brother Freddie. Freddy then ran for his life before he could aim, so Justin aimed at Atalia the twin and fired. He then aimed for his wife again when she showed some signs of life. Tulani and his wife were in a state of paralyzing fear and could not run, so he pointed the gun at Tulani's wife, but luckily the gun malfunctioned and the wife got a chance to run away and was saved by a neighbor who hid her in her house. He then ran after her but failed and came back to shoot Tulani. But the gun jammed again and he went to the balcony attempting to commit suicide. Tulani thought maybe he wanted to throw himself off the balcony but after a few minutes there was a loud gunshot. The news of their death was received with so much grief because of the violent nature of the murder considering that this was also in a foreign country. If the gun had not jammed, he could have killed all five of them before committing suicide. It is unclear how he got the gun and why he had brought it to the meeting. Some claimed that it was a premeditated murder and he had decided to kill the whole family present. The younger sister to the twins, Otilia, said she could not believe that her sisters had been brutally murdered and their children were now orphans. The Jean family demanded compensation, and the family of the killer reportedly paid four cows and 16,000 rands to fulfill the request for the cleansing ritual and compensation before the burial. They managed to also raise money for repatriation for the two sisters to be buried in Dabazinduna. This is yet another incident that reflects a deeper problem of femicide and intimate partner violence in our country that requires urgent attention and awareness. May their souls continue to rest in peace.